Hi, hello, and welcome back. Welcome to part three, work, actual, and wrapping. Yes, I mean, wrapping is appropriate. We're seasonal. We're talking about uh, Santa Claus and Santa Claus's workshop. Um, in any case, Happy New Year. Welcome to the uh, year 2023, the far future of 2022. Um I am audible and captioned. Awesome that I'm going to be audible, captioned, and visible. Boom. There I am. Um, and so, welcome back. We are basically playing one last session of hopefully wrapping up the game we've been running, which is called, we've called Attack the Pole. It is running in the Feng Shui 2 system. Um and so let me let's bring in the characters and by that i mean my co-workers and by that i definitely mean characters um and here they are so while we go through and introduce your character and uh what their new year's resolution would be um clarence why don't you start yeah, you call on Clarence as he's actually going on to Twitter to do his job. Um, <laughs> well, if you want, we could call yeah. Sam then. No, nope, too late, too late. I was, he's already here. God so um, I am uh, Clarence. I'm the big guy that likes to break things. Um, my New Year's resolution is to break more things. Solid, solid. <laughs> hey, Twenty with I'm Sam. Chris. Oh, Chris, go ahead. Oh, Twenty, sorry. Uh. <clears throat> Hello, uh, my name's 20. Uh, I'm playing Sam Hunter. Uh, Hunter's New Year's resolution is uh, fuck that. She doesn't make New Year's resolutions. She's going to mm -hmm. keep doing what has always worked. Okay. <clears throat> Mike and Chris. Hey, this is Chris. My New Year's resolution is to take much, much better care of Lucille. Yeah. She's my shotgun. Okay. Oh, uh, and last and definitely not least, Archie. Uh, so I'm playing Archie, and my new, I am uh, the archer, so skillfully named. Um, and my New Year's revolution is to punch more Nazis. Something we all can get behind. Okay. So, Speaking of Nazis, let's do a quick session recap here. Um, going through my notes. Um, so the first session had you all getting invitations to uh, come to the North Pole to deal with each of your own basically individual troubles that you have basically you have been tracking. Uh, Archie wants to uh, find out why her presence she didn't get the present you want she, she wanted and to lick the candy cane at the center of the North Pole. Uh, Chris has been tracking the his their bounty, the Grinch. Um, Sam Hunter has been working to figure out what's going on with Santa's organization. There's some kind of mole inside of it. Uh, and Clarence just wants to know where their pound puppy is. They've been wanting one for years, and Santa hasn't given them one. He's out to find out. So... That brought them all basically lured by some kind of message. Uh, basically, that lured them to the airport uh, where they got on board a large cargo plane, which took them out towards the North Pole, uh, where they discovered mid-flight that their, their fellow passengers were, in fact, Nazis, or at least people cosplaying as Nazis, which is almost worse. Uh, they are people with really bad fake German accents. Uh, however, they are dressed in uh, Nazi uniforms and seem to be singing bad Nazi, basically German Christmas, not Nazi, German uh, Christmas carols in bad high school German. A fight broke out, as one, one, one does when you discover that one fellow's passengers are basically gun-toting Nazis. Uh, the fight went badly for them, um, as several of them ended up thrown out of the plane. One ended up thrown out of the plane into an engine. Uh, this caused the plane to crash. Uh, but don't worry, they just simply took the car that they had brought along with them and just backed it out of the back of the plane. Not a problem. 
Clarence was easily able to maneuver the parachute that they had attached to the car. That They landed on the ground, and then they drove towards Santa's workshop in the distance. From there, they were able to go to... Basically, they went through the weird the pseudo-security checkpoint, which had been set up. Blew through the checkpoint, running over one Nazi guard and blowing a second one through a window. Uh, going up to the workshop, they discovered it has now been taken over. Filled with all sorts of basically elves and humans, basically all dressed up in Nazi uniforms, all still speaking with that terrible fake English German accent. Um, so they, of course, immediately do what every good party does in a situation which has any sort of danger. They split the party. Uh, they basically half of them went in through the loading docks and half of them went in through the front door. Uh, the loading dock people, Clarence and Chris, had a great stealthy plan to sneak it onto the floor, dressed as inspectors and ladder carriers. And all was going well until the first party, uh, or rather Archie in the first party. Uh, Chris does not wish to be on the record as being part of this plan. Uh, Archie kicked in the door, went basically went in and opened fire, literal fire with her bow, basically a bow and a lit a flaming arrow into the nearest fireworks display, uh, causing chaos, interruption, and boldly announcing that they were OSHA inspectors here to inspect the facility. Um, as one, ex one, one expects, they were not greeted with cheers of relief and happiness that the OSHA inspectors were finally here. They were instead met with gunfire and sorcerous bolts. Uh, they also discovered that Santa Claus had been replaced by a individual with a tiny, uh, a furious, furious little individual with a tiny, wearing a well tailored uh, uniform, red uniform, red and green uniform, uh, sporting a small square mustache, introducing himself as Hitler Claus, the evil clone of Hitler here to take over the holidays. Uh, he is doing so by. Uh, Corrupting the holiday poles, which are the tent poles, which are the sorceress, which are the sorceress parts of all of the holidays. Uh, and so he has started corrupting them. There are one four poles one representing Christmas, Hanukkah, the New Year's, and of course, uh Kwanzaa. That was the last one I was missing there. He has already corrupted. Hanukkah and an evil Roman soldier is basically has come out and is uh, squaring off against Clarence. Chris is tracking his, uh, is basically is ducking and dodging and dealing with the Grinch who has engaged him in his sorcerer's power. He has claimed the sorcerer's power of Krampus. Archie is exchanging fire from the basically from the uh, entry walkway with Hitler claws, and Sam is up on the catwalk taking out. Uh, the various officers and soldiers up there. And that is our situation as we bring you in the immediate res, as it were. Uh, so, as this is, this, as we are still in combat, we reached the end of a sequence last time. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. For those who don't remember, initiative in this system is done by rolling a single d6 and adding it to your speed. Move your character to that number. And that will start the fight. I need to look uh, at my initiatives. Apparently, yeah. Roll 21 offline for me. One second, and then I'll roll initiative. This is round two, so. Adolf knows what he's doing in this round, so he is. There he is. He's going on 11. Grinch is also going on 11. Um, some of the soldiers are... going on 8. Some of them are going on... One of them is going on 11. The others are going on. Five, zero, 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 nine. I need to remember which.
which one is the is the Roman Blood Mountain? I think the one that's right here. All right, so starting at the top, 13 is uh, Sam Hunter. Remember that taking an action, basically most actions include movement. Um, it gets movement and whatever action you want to take, and those will take up three shots for stuff like shooting or doing other stuff. Uh, if you're doing something less complicated than that, it will take less actions. So after you're done taking your action, you will move down to the next shot, which is minus the number of shots your action took. So, Sam, you're up. You're muted, Tony. Well, it's not... Sam Tony is isn't Sam. Uh, Tony, is it Sam? Oh, no. my bad. Yeah. No, I'm not. That's why I'm still muted. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were Sam. No, he's Sam. Clarence. Sam is, uh, Sam Hunter is uh, 20. You know the character uh, that we just had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She told you to call her Hunter when oh, you met. Oh, sorry. So the characters should all be calling her Hunter. The GM can call her by her name if the GM wishes. Uh... Okay, um, I can't recall. Did my last target go down? Um, I believe so. I basically, there is... We're basically, we'll say that basically there is probably... We'll say you've cleared out most of them. There's probably a, a mook or two that is up here. But the officer you took out. Okay. There are three are there officers any other... left, which are on the ground floor. Okay. And there is somebody on my level? There are... Various soldiers kind of running around. Obviously, they noticed you since you opened fire and killed the officer that was up here. Um, yeah. So there's general panic, but they basically there are several of them up here. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I will uh, attack the uh, target I have the best line of sight to. And I will just shoot him with my Win Winchester. Okay. I'm just double checking my sheet. One second. Where's my printer going? <laughs> I can hear it too. Uh, okay. Uh, roll. Cool. But that's on what? So it would be. Plus my gun score. Got it. I remember. Okay. A 14 will hit the, uh, basically will definitely hit a mook. Um, so you're aiming for just one of them or are you doing something, anything special or are you just, just smacking into and taking out one of them? Just trying to take targets down there, boss. Like, uh, yeah, just shooting one of them. Okay. So basically, you basically you lie, sight in on one of them that's running. He fire, you fire, basically center of mast. He goes over the railing. Good Wilhelm scream. <clears throat> we should add that to the soundboard. I have it on mine. <laughs> it's too bad I can't play it to Discord. All right, so that's your three actions. Um, are, you, are you moving at all, or are you just pretty much staying crouched down in the corner of the catwalk, as it were? I'm just going to stay where I am until I can't hit anybody from where I am. I think that okay. makes sense. All right. So, so you're sniping people up here, knocking yeah. them down. Okay. 
So still a three three shot move, right? Correct. Or three shot action one, two, yep. three. Yeah. Okay. Like if you if you like as a note, if you want to target multiple people, you can. It just adds to the difficulty. Uh, yeah. Uh, but mooks are, of course, relatively easy to hit, so it's always easier to be like, oh, I can take out multiple. For example, the mooks defense is something like uh, they have a defense of 13. Um, That's what I thought. So basically, it's like a two penalty to hit multiple of them. The, the more okay. basically, As always, the more dramatic and more interesting you make your actions, the more likely there are to be bonuses and other stuff from what you're doing. Um, so even though you're like, oh, that's kind of complicated, you're like, but if it's a really, really interesting and awesome and cool action thing, you get bonuses for doing that. Um, all right, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, oh, evil Roman, I forgot to put him somewhere, I need to do that. Um, other than that, yes, Chris, you're up. Yep, so I'm going to my my last attempt to uh deal with the uh sorceress totems, I guess, uh was not very effective and, and caused a lot of backlash. So I think I'm just going to angrily uh shoot at the Grinch. Okay. Maybe he's the one behind all this and after all anyway. If anybody wants to attempt to roll, give me basically give me a explanation for why one of your skills, like it can be absolutely ridiculous, it could be like, yes, while I was in a like an example of Chris, I would while I was standing in a old motel, I someone had left behind a book, basically as often does, they left behind a book of stuff and spells, and I happened to study it, and I want to roll roll one of my skills for that, or uh, escape hunters like, oh yeah, we study this in police training. Uh, there was a X Files day at the police station. Uh, <laughs> X Files. Um, speaking of X Files days, um, mysteriously, basically, wow. uh, Chris open basically goes to open fire on the Grinch, and while normally you remember to step out then shoot. Um, this time you kind of forgot that and instead you just shot then stepped out. Um, so your hit explodes into the crate in front of you, um, scattering, um, basically that this box had an entire collection of Legos and other stuff in it. Um, and so now the floor around you is covered in Legos, um, meaning your movements are obviously going to be difficult. Um, as we all know, Legos are tiny landmines just waiting to go off. At least I did it. At least it was spectacular. The Grinch laughs and points out, as he points to the floor and says, you're worse for the children's Christmas than I am. Um, wow, that kind of burns. Okay, uh, that drops you to three, unless you're taking any other movement actions. Um, nope. <laughs> um, so that brings us to 11. Oh, actually, wait, I need to double check when it was. Sorry, Grinch is on, uh, I'd rather. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um... So on eleven, the bad guys get to go. Um, actually, one of the soldiers is dead. Um, I'll pick the highest one just to make my life easier. So it's just Adolf Claus and the Grinch here. Um, telegrams, telegram, okay. Um, so. Adolf cackles maniacally. He's been he's been wounded. He's taken several arrows from uh Archie, but uh does not basically does not see, seems to be trying to, sh to shake them off. Um and instead points in Archie's direction and flings a sorceress bolt at them before ducking behind one of the thrones. You have slowed me down from my ritual, but I will see you dead for it, Archer. Uh, so. 
Made of claws, roll dice, skill. Okay. Um, Archie, what is your defense? Um, defense is 14. Okay. Uh, currently, that will hit you unless you want to take a. Uh, I will shot use to dodge. The, the whole. Yeah, yeah, the dodgy thingy. Okay, so you'll drop down to eight because you're dodging. Um, and the bolt will go wide, but will disintegrate and melt part of the, basically part of the floor near you. Um, eight. He will only drop to 11 because he is an evil bad guy. Um, the Grinch um, is going to basically seeing the, basically that you've exploded the, uh, crate right in front of you um, and basically it is partially damaged is going to slam another bolt of evil Krampus energy into that um, cackling with well if we're going to if we're going to destroy toys for children you might as well we might as well go all the way um, and is going to fire a bolt at that. Ooh, a 19. Okay. So that will disintegrate that crate, um, and which will cause the crates above it to come toppling down on top of you. Um, you basically give me... Roll your speed. Basically, I guess here's the question for you, Chris. So basically, crates are slamming in, basically slamming down around you are trying to basically... Basically, essentially, a Grinch is trying to bury you under a uh, piles of Christmas toys. Of course, he is. Uh, how basically? How would your character get out of that situation? Trying to bury me under a bunch of boxes. Yep. I'm probably going to try to um, like backflip off the boxes and land behind the mess that's about to be made. Okay. Uh, that sounds like martial arts. Give me a martial arts roll. Can do. Sorry, the, uh, old 20 UI just keeps popping up right on top of my uh, buttons. <laughs> martial arts. I mean, you know, I, I I didn't roll the correct number for my guns. That's all right. <laughs> there we go. All right. I only added my plus two bonus instead of the full uh, 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's fine. God. There we go. That's an 11. Backflip. I wonder why it was so terrible. But I mean, you, had to roll, you rolled badly, but not that badly. Okay. In any case, um, so that's 11. Um... So you will subtract that. What's your toughness? My toughness is, I think, is that that is a seven. Okay. So you will take uh, uh, eight Eleven points of damage. Uh, basically, as you manage to back up oh, off of some of them, basically, but you manage to basically still basically still get kind of crushed by some of them, but you don't end up buried under all the boxes. Uh, that will, however, cost you a shot, as that is an active dodge, as it were. Um, essentially, you were burying the boxes. Um, so I take eleven points of damage total. Yes. A after the toughness? Yes. Ouch. But uh, that starts are... to be real real serious. Okay. Yeah. But you are not buried under boxes. Yay, that's good at least. Uh, I take a one shot penalty for do active dodging, as it were. Okay. 
That brings us to, that was the Grinch. That was his three actions. That brings us to Hunter. You're up again. There's, there's another, uh, another officer, not another officer, another uh, soldier up here. Um, they look more like, uh, is there? Actually, no, the other two soldiers are on the, all the other, everyone else is on the ground at this point. So yeah, you are alone right. up here. Okay. Do I have a line of sight on the Grinch? Um, uh, it's hard amongst the chaos, but he, since he is standing out currently gloating over, uh, his attack on Chris. Yes. I will say that he is visible. You awesome. will move to, you'll move to a location and be able to spot him. Kind of stands and... out being the green furred guy. Have I observed him kill anyone thus far? Not thus far, no. Could I consider that because he's trying to kill people, he is murderous? Uh, he hasn't actively killed anyone yet, and you haven't actually seen him do something that could cause death. So we're going to have to say, given the song, unless you could give me something from the song that would indicate. <laughs> no, I don't the, think the song the story. has anything that would indicate. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Seuss didn't write that. Um, all right, then we'll just shoot him with my regular guns attack. Yep. The opening fire from above. Um... Yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to open fire on the Grinch with my Winchester. And that will be a 13 and go. God damn it. Okay. Basically, he spins around just the last second. Um, looks like he's going to be, basically, it looks like he's able to use some, some form of source of energy to steal the very bullets out of the air. Um, oh. It is up to you. Basically, as a reminder for everyone, basically you do have fortune dice. Fortune dice are um, they were listed on your sheet, except for Archie, who has key. Um, okay, yes, I want to. You can use. I want to use a fortune. Yep, then you add an extra die. It's just one d six. Yep. Okay. 16. So you, you foreseeing the fact that basically he would try to do that, uh, basically sent in a couple of extra bullets, which ricochet in, uh, basically coming in from a different direction than he expected. Uh, he will, he active dodges as I get out of the way. No. So he will take the damage, but you'll have a only a one outcome. So what's your damage? My damage? Yep. So whatever the weapon you're Where? using, first the first of the three slashes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 13. Yep. So 14 damage minus 5 is a 9. Plus another 9. Uh, basically, you peg him squarely in the leg with that ricocheted shot. Uh, basically, he lets out, a, lets out a string of, basically, of Snips and snails and puppy dog Grinchy tails. curses. Yep. <laughs> uh, and uh, basically, he seems to be limping a little bit. All right, that's him. Uh, so that's Hunter. Uh, now we come to basically sequence nine. Let's go ahead and start with Clarence, as Clarence hasn't gotten the go yet. All right. Well, I know when I had to uh, bounce last game, I was in the middle of a bunch of a. Uh, you are currently the minions facing, or whatever. You are, you are currently facing down um, an evil Roman soldier who has been basically brought to life through uh, Hitler claws corrupting the Hanukkah holiday poll. This is what else. I get for bouncing early, isn't it? <laughs> he is. 
he basically he scored a he scored a small hit on you for what I remember. Um, yes, you took six points of damage. It looks like, um, but he is holding a evil cest, evil looking cestus made out of some kind of evil energy, um, and is looking at you maliciously. Mm. Batter up! Let's go at him with a baseball bat. Okay. I don't think I have any bonuses right now. Nope. 14. Okay. 14 will just basically would just hit him. So he will spend an action to dodge out of the way. Basically your bat, your bat comes whistling in and he is forced to duck aside. Um, or be cracked about the uh, cracked about the ribs. Why the ribs? <laughs> You're going for the head instead. No, j- never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, so I get it. Uh, Chris, you're up. Yes. Um, did I land on the opposite side of the boxes from the Grinch? Yes. Great. Then I'm going to run around the boxes. Okay. And get as reasonably close to the Grinch as I, you know, can get without risking attacks from other people. And I'm going to, uh, I mean, it's chaos of pandemonium. There's a lot of people running around, some of which have weapons, some it's of which fine. don't. There we go. What in the world? <laughs> that's um, a lot of exploding dice. Well, good news, bad news. Good news is that's box cars, which means that the outcome is something weird is going to happen. I need you to roll again to determine that is a success or a failure. Same roll. Yep. Oh, Ooh. man! I've exploded every uh, failure date so far. It is. Up to uh, this at least game. it wasn't snake eyes. Yeah. Do you do you wish to spend a fortune die? That is your call. Yeah, let's spend a fortune die. Okay. My hits are going up and my fortune's going down. <laughs> Sorry, wounds are going up, fortune's going down. Sounds about right somehow. Yep. Give me a single D6. Okay. So with that, that is a success. So that means that it, this, this is something weird is going to happen in your favor. Okay. Um, so that shot will pick up the Grinch and throw him across the room. Um, yes. I thought I had a... Where did I put my notes on that? Uh, Oh, that's where I put them, of course. Uh... Yeah, sure. So basically, your shot will slam into the Grinch and basically send him flying across uh, the thing, and he will slam into one of the totems, um, which will shake violently um, and... He will uh, cough out, basically cough out of basically his his last basically be like uh, curse you, Prince, uh, and then he will expire right there. Uh, but whoa, nice! His death will uh, 
basically removes the curse from that particular pull, which is the, um, we'll say that one's the Kwanzaa pull, sure. Um, and basically, as the dope, basically you all, basically you hear you hear a voice in all of your heads, that all of us, this is Clarence, Chris, Archie, and Hunter. Um, basically, you have freed the spirit of Kwanzaa. Thank you. Basically, remember the spirit of unity. You can now basically help each other and you will succeed. Uh, in in game terms, this means the fact that you now can spend fortune for each other. Nice. Um, and basically spending that will allow you to add Ooh. your skill to theirs as well. Mm. Good morning. That is the awesome. Kwanzaa spirit of unity. All right. All right, so that was Chris. Uh, then the officers are going to open fire in various directions. Uh, one, or basically, one officer is going to fire at Archie. As they are standing up there prominently with a large bow firing at their Fuhrer, as it were. Oof. Basically, bullets ping off of the basically ping all around Archie, but none come anywhere close to actually hitting them. Um, mm. That one will also basically that was basically one of them will basically one of the Grinch's henchmen, an evil looking troll in a basically in a holiday uniform outfit, uh, will open fire on Chris. They will. Uh, but I'm tough. I can take it. How do they have that? Here's to sassy characters. <laughs> Is there any other kind? I mean, well, yes, but <laughs> not this game. Of, <laughs> none of these people are rolling at all. Um, and That's a good problem to have. Who's the last one going to shoot at? They're not going to really get involved in the Roman officer versus Clarence fight. Um, which means one will probably fire up at Chris, sure. Trying to shoot through the catwalk. See if that works out for them. No, definitely the catwalk, not. Yeah. <laughs> take their little they take their little bullets through the catwalk. They are in fact too sexy for this. They're apparently too sexy to aim. I was waiting aim. for the right said Fred commentary. Yep. They're apparently too sexy to aim. Um, and so none of their shots go anywhere. Um, that brings us back to Adolf Claus, uh, who will cackle. Basically, basically actually, he will, he will stick his head back out and like, Curses, you have disrupted my chances of corrupting Kwanzaa. However, two others remain. They will be mine. Um... But first, that cursed archer must die. Um, and is going to throw another bolt at Archie. What did you do to piss off evil Santa? Put arrows into the... Me? Good. I shot at it? Um, <laughs> wow, okay, the result is still technically positive, only because they have a huge bonus. Um, good job. Okay, so... This bolt slams into the wall, basically into the glass window, the glass windows behind you, and just kind of melts it away, letting in a blast of frigid North Pole air. Uh, it rustles, basically, that rustles your hair and basically, and all the, all the, basically, all the tassels on your, uh, basically, all the tassels, all the fletchings, the fletch, fletchlings, but dirt, arrow, have fletches, all the fletches Fletching. on your. Fletching, that's a word. My brain was just not working on that one. All the fletchings on your... I was like, baby birds? <laughs> All the fletchings on your arrows. Uh, but does not stir you at all. Dropping them to six. <laughs> Choke inside the chimney. Ooh. All right, that brings us to eight. Uh, that brings... Archie, you're up. Well, I will shoot right back at him, okay. evil Santa. 
Um, so I will do the roll dice and I will aim right for his big red. I've drank too many, too many hot chocolates and stole too many cookie nose. Um, so skill hot chocolate, uh, too many hot chocolate. Yeah. One too many are uh, Holly Jollies. Uh, where's my hot chocolate with is. Kahlua? So skill is my guns. It's evil. It's it's it's, it's hot chocolate with Jaeger. Oh, that's not awesome. Okay, your arrow slams into the throne. He is hiding behind. Laughs yeah, and... no, I I I I'm gonna use a geek point on that. Okay, spend, spend one of those. Uh, yeah, here's my key points. I'll cheat cheat from last time because I'm assuming we haven't reset. Correct. This is the same fight. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna try that again. Uh, fourteen. Better. Key point does not uh, allow you to reroll. Key point just adds a d6. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, roll one d6, five. So eight plus five. That's a thirteen. Thirteen is just is a little short of what you need. So. Basically, at least it doesn't just slam into the throne. It basically it forces him to duck back into, uh, behind, basically duck back behind the basically behind the throne, but it does not hit him. Boo hoo. Okay, that uh, brings you to five. And everyone else here on eight. The two evil soldiers, the Roman, basically two Nazi soldiers. Uh, they're going to, one is going to fire up at Sam. Um, the books are going to eight. Eight. Okay. Misses Sam entirely. Or it's our hunter entirely. Uh, the other one is, of course, firing at Chris. Hoping to ping the person who took down there. This is a another evil looking elven creature. Uh, Bring there. it, punk. Uh -huh. That's a ten, which is not enough. To hit your defense. Uh, bolts and bullets are going everywhere. Uh, the Grinch is dead, so it will not be continuing this fight. Uh, however, the evil Roman is going to um, basically, basically, he's going to make a um, basically makes a basically makes a gesture as it says, "Your blood will feel it will basically will feed the fields where the, my soldiers will grow from." Um, this guy makes an attack against the defense of the hero that last tried to hit. Okay, so he tries to do another attack on Clarence. Sorcery 15. 12. What is Clarence's defense? Clarence's defense is a 12. Okay, so that will hit. Um, so he spends two more shots, so five and then two more. Um, this actually is up to Clarence whether or not, um, you can dodge if you want, which will drop you down to five. And we'll I'm gonna go ahead and damage. dodge. Okay, so the damage doesn't actually hit you, but he still basically he still takes some of the blood that is on his sword. Um, and kind of flicks it towards some of the fallen soldiers around. And basically says, rise, my soldiers. Your time is basically, the, the emperor still needs you and requires your service. Um, one plus the outcome modifier. Uh, so he will get one more back up. So that one will 
join him. So another basically the one of the previously one of the ones you cracked with the ladder. Um, his, his jaw, you see his jaw kind of where the blood hit kind of re basically recenter itself, and he stands back up, almost zombie like, ready to fight, basically saluting the evil Roman. Okay, which is five. That uh, brings us six. Chris, do not like. I'm gonna have nightmares from that. So speaking of nightmares. Um, I'm going to line up a shot so one of the creepy zombie soldier dudes is standing in front of the Christmas uh, pole, okay. effigy, whatever, and shoot him into it. Okay. Wait, zombies? Not really. They're just like automaton. Sorry, I used a bad word. <laughs> I used the I, word zombie. Also, uh... Yeah. But also, I didn't hear it, so I'm. I was just surprised. The, it's fine. The it's soldier fine. used basically the soldier used something from involving Clarence's blood to uh, re to basically bring back up some of the downed soldiers. One of the downed soldiers, down, down Nazi soldiers. It seems to be moving. Yeah, well, I think I killed it. Okay, and 18 is definitely more than enough to get through it. So you're blowing him back into the Christmas uh, pole. Into the Christmas pole. Okay. Um, he has a Lisky, so that will. So you're, you're particularly going for the one of the ones that he just brought back up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. That will knock him out. Um, so that will. Shake the Christmas pole, but that's great. And some of the energy crackling around it will disperse, but not all of it. There's not a lot of that's great. There's not as much evil energy, not as much evil energy in the uh, or energy in the soldier as there was in the Grinch. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, that's your action. That brings us back to the officers who will basically one of them is going. What are they going to do in particular? Um, one of them is going to continue to fire at Hunter up at the top. Um, there's actually, he's slowly moving towards the staircase, kind of firing, trying to work his way, trying to get up onto the same level as Hunter. Oh, uh, double ones. So he is paying so much attention Ouch. to the uh, basically to firing up at Hunter that he fails to note the fact that there are uh, marbles strewn all over the floor. And this game with a slight scream, you can hear him. Basically, you hear him slip and fall on this game, kind of crash onto the marbles, losing him an extra shot. Um, one of them is going to fire. Basically, one of them is going to just rush at Chris, attempting to uh, grab her. Chris is uh, Chris is a her, correct? If I remember correctly. Okay. Side step. Uh, and trying to Defense grab work. them and wrap, bring them down to the ground. So that's right. there. Defense fourteen. Yep. It takes a lot for them to hit, but it is possible. Not rolling like that, it's not that. That won't do it. Nope. Uh, it just comes crashing towards you, just screaming in a bowl, basically screaming bad job. Basically, I will get, I will, you go hold him. Um, and will instead end up crashing into a box and just end up coming back, coming away, holding a uh, giant teddy bear. And he's like, ah, I've got to, oh, wait, what? Ah, curses, fooled. Your cursed sorcery will not work on me. Throws the teddy bear to the ground. Um, one of the other officers is going to start running up the stairs, trying to get up to Archie while firing. Let's see if anything bad happens. Did you me. hear that, Lucille? He called me a sorcerer. Uh, 
a seven is definitely not going to do anything good there. Wow, all the dice are really against me on their side. Cool. Um, so uh, it comes crashing. Basically, Archie, you can definitely hear him come crashing up as he's just firing wildly over his head in your general direction. None of the bullets are getting anywhere near you, but you can hear the bullets kind of pinging off of things in him. Slam, basically, his footstep as he crashes up the uh, stairs. And then last but not least, uh, Adolf Claus will stick his head back out and will make gestures towards He's like, no, no, not the Christmas bowl. That one has to, that one will have to be mine. Um, and he is going to spend his actions reinforcing the magic of that pole. I will summon the evil Karen. You cannot stop me. Did you just say evil Karen? I might have. Yeah, he totally did. Uh, we're on five. Clarence, you're up, followed by Archie. Um. Yes? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I can't it's imagine. Like... You might have questions. Um. Can I drop the bat and pull out the shotgun? Yes. I'm going to drop the bat and pull out the shotgun. Okay. Bat clatters to the floor. The Roman sneers at you and says, ah, you've given up on your, basically given up on a good honorable combat and now result to sorcerer's tools. What ways, what evil ways do you have for me, you religious magician? I am protected by Zeus. Well, uh, Zeus is a Greek god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not I might, one. I might have met Saturn. Fine, or Jupiter or something. <laughs> I just thought it was fitting in just fine with the bad German accents. And... Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh yeah, he's... it could be because he's a rotato. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his intelligence from the same place they all do. They all they all share one brain cell. And he didn't have it at the moment. Okay. Um. He kind of basically curse. Basically, he will curse. Uh, uh. Basically, your shots will. Is that enough to hit? No, just basically that will not hit. But you could spend a fortune die if you wish. Um. Yeah, I don't think I've done that yet. So what do I do there? Just roll a d6 and add it in. How do I roll a single d6? Uh, slash uh, slash R right space 1d6. R space 1d6. So that would be do. 18? That'll do. Basically, so basically he, he laughs as you, as, you, as you fire and he's like, yeah, you cannot hit me. Um, and confidently stands there, not even dodging, and then your gun booms loudly and basically buckshot slams into him. He says, ah! What powerful sorcery. Um, and he will take 18 minus 5. What's the damage? It's the first thing on the first number on the left. Uh, 13. So 18 points of damage total. Ow. And actually, no, you only get bonus damage if you're hitting people. Okay. Actually, you had a actually you had a bonus to the attack because you missed on the last one, didn't you? Oh, oh well, yeah. How much was the bonus? I don't remember. Um plus one cumulative. Okay. So that would add an extra point of damage. That increases your outcome. Um, Archie? Well, I'm gonna try to shoot at Santa Claus again, or Eel Claus. Yep. Um, since his nose proved to be a bit of a target, and he, uh, or a bit too hard of a target to go for, I mean, he does have a massive, disgusting beard on his face, so we're gonna go for that this time. Okay. I try to spear him right through the throat, try to get him to stop with the the tauntings. Um, 
And with that, we're going to roll wrong tab. Still wrong tab. We got the wrong tab. Remember, children, tabs are not bookmarks. <laughs> you Did I the same lose put an roll, arrow in his head. roll 20 altogether? Uh, you're listed as still no, being in roll 20, so. Roll there it is. Are still here. <laughs> All right. Uh... Jesus. You wish it's been a fourteen. Uh... Yeah, sure. well no well twelve, yeah, I guess it's high enough to be worth it. We'll roll out of fortune here real soon. Okay. And I'm guessing that does not hit. Fifteen. How many fortune do I have? I'm running out of fortune. Does he have that will force him to dodge, but he will dodge out of the way of it. Okay. Um, Nazi soldiers. One is going to. Another one will join the officer coming up after Hunter. Um, so running up the stairs after Hunter. Firing all the way, firing a Luger pistol all the way. Oof. That's a six. So basically, again, hunt, basically, hunt, basically, just like the, the other one, basically, you can hear him coming and he's shouting, Ach, mein Vol, mein Ned, das Mädchen must be stopped. Stoppen, stoppen. Uh, but just like his German, his shooting is terrible. Um, one of them will fire at Chris. Sorts of sorceress energy. That does a little bit better, but still not enough to hit Chris. Um, so basically, it's this one. This one is just confidently striding towards Chris, throwing bolts after bolt of energy directly at him, trying to stop him, uh, trying to position himself uh, between. Uh, Chris in the pole to prevent him from doing any further damage to it. Archie is done. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to go well. Brings us to three, which is uh, Chris. Go ahead. All right. I who who is positioning themselves between me and the pole? One of the one of the Nazi soldier mooks, sacrificing his life to basically for the future of the empire. Right. Okay, it's it's not actually one of the Nazis. It's one of the one of the supernatural ones. So it's like a like a little gremlin in a outfit. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna shoot him into the pole again. Because okay. that that felt like it was the right thing to do. Nope. Sorry. I. Uh, that's only a fourteen. Okay. I put the wrong bonus. All right, so that will slam him into the pole, dropping another one. <laughs> uh, soldier. And that then with that the. I'm assuming the pole is still okay. It is that. basically it is dimmed back. It is the the evil energy crackling around it is dimming down, but it is not yep. completely gone. All right, um, that's your action. That brings us to uh, the evil Roman who will sling at Clarence. Spitting and cursing. Uh, we'll attempt to. Hit Clarence. Basically, buckshot. Basically, the but the loud explosion. The buckshot seems to have rattled his confidence. Uh, so his swings are just wild as he tries to tries to swing in your direction. Obviously, they're ringing in his ears. Um, the Nazi officer who is carrying the teddy bear is throwing it to the ground um, and is going to pick up one of the. Uh, 
basically one is basically a set of uh let's see here sure basically a set of christmas jump ropes and is going to basically try to try to rope it around uh chris and drag him to the ground that's a uh, spectacular it's uh, next to christmas hula hoop the, the, the rope back the rope lands at your feet um there's basically just short of roping basically going basically going around your head but uh we but it just kind of lays there on the ground in front of you the officer crispy ah stop dodging you did not in fact dodge um <laughs> and the other officer is running up the stairs after um yeah, that was this is the one that's running up the stairs after archie um, it's the one that was running up the stairs after uh, Hunter tripped on marbles. Uh, so this one actually will make it upstairs and is going to try to grab Archie um, and throw, basically drag them off of the catwalk and basically throw them to the ground. Um, essentially taking them with you. Take, taking you with them, rather. Let's see if this guy can do any better than any of the other people. Spoiler alert. Uh, oh, hold on. Nope. Um, he slams in Vizky. He barrels after Archie, and Archie is able to gracefully dodge out of the way. As he slams into the cat, Vizky into the side of the catwalk, bending one of the bars, and coughs up some blood, and says, curse you, Archer. I will stop you for the glory of Hitler Claus. The holidays will be his. Chris is done. Clarence, you're up. Then Archie. All right. Um, I'm back, by the way. Yep. Hi, oh, wait, back. Did, I'm Clarence. Oh, well, you know, you haven't updated in a bit. You're, you should be. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. You're on 10, so you're probably on 7, so you probably should have been on 4. So take your action. There we go. Four. Say that again. Go ahead and take your action. Oh, okay. You would have been on board, so uh, 4, you should have gone already. Okay. Uh, is there like a pole? Or a rope that I can grab and slide down anywhere nearby. There is a basically just in the center of the entire room. There is a large candy cane, candy cane striped pole leading, basically going up through the roof and leading all down to the ground for exactly that purpose. Okay. Well, it is the North Pole. Uh. So Sam is going to drop her Winchester. Okay. By the way, is is Santa Hitler still up? Yes. Okay. Uh, grab, run for the, run and jump for the pole while simultaneously drawing her, hold on, I have to read it, uh, Smith and Wesson Model 29, her go to sidearm okay and as she's sliding down the pole she's going to take so you know pull the trigger trigger two or three times toward hitler all right what do i need to roll for that um give me guns and give yourself a plus 2 bonus for extreme uh extreme acrobatics and action movie styling Okay. Well, that will hit. Uh, six plus three plus six is twenty-one. Ow. Um, that will put him at. Oh, and my Smith and Wesson deals three more damage than the norm. Okay. So what's that? What's the? How much damage is it doing? Uh, that would be a total of fourteen. Okay, so 21 minus his defense of 15 is 6, plus uh, 6 for 14 is 20, so you will do, you will do 20 damage, <laughs> uh, which basically 
brings him to 60, um, which is means he is now in danger zone. Uh, two, four, six, and heal over. So let's see if those wounds are lethal. No, they were not. But basically, you slam into it. Basically, he is now definitely limping. And basically, Skrvinsky, as you're basically, as you come, you run, jump for the pole, come sliding and firing down. Your bullets ricochet around, basically, around his cover. Uh, basically, as you go sliding around, you're able to get access to a couple of different angles and fire bullets, which basically slam, basically, slam into him from angles he was not expecting. He screams in pain and rage. Um, basically, as basically as you basically slam, basically blow holes out of his arms and legs, and he's now definitely limping and bleeding and hiding behind the pole. Um, curse you, Sam Hunter! <laughs> All right. Uh, How do you on... know my name, you twerp? <laughs> I made a list and I checked it twice. Yeah, well, we both know who's naughty and who's nice. Nice. Here. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, that drops you to one. That drops him to 60, so he's pretty much almost dead. Um, okay. Um, that brings us to back to Archie and Clarence. It's up to you, Tech, to where you decide who wants to go first. I'll go. That's fine. Um, well, I'm getting tired of not being able to hit evil claws. Um, is that nice little box of random fireworks completely taken off, or is there any chance of me causing a bit more mayhem? You could probably cause a bit more mayhem. What do you think? Then I will light my arrow on fire, another arrow on fire, and cause some mayhem and shoot straight for some more of the undone uh, um fireworks just to kind of distract some people see if obviously i'm not helpful in terms of being able to shoot anything so maybe if i can shoot an inanimate box you know get some distraction going so that the others that seem to be able to hit a target can actually do some good okay so you're in this case attempting to give everyone else bonuses and covers and things like that from correct distraction. okay correct uh, roll me archery um, so is that still guns? Yep. All right. Nice. <laughs> wow. Okay. Really, the trick is flaming arrows. Ooh, hey. So basically, you guys thought that that corner of the factory was uh, done, but okay. Unless whiskey. Okay. I'd like rather let me ask. Martine, do you have anything particular you want to describe this as, or do you want me to describe it? It's up to you. Oh, as the fireworks explode, it's just kind of like in the movies where, you know, they follow and at least one person gets a rocket to the butt. Like, like you know, the, the whole, like, it follows them and no matter where it runs, it follows them anyway and it lands, you know, um, and it explodes. Um, I like it needs to be syncopated to some Christmas music. Yeah, I mean it's the the light show of the bloody century. It is exp and it, it is all sorts and all of a sudden for some reason like Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah light up in the ceiling um, as the fireworks blow off. Um, ran, you know, uh, utterly and completely <laughs> and with bottle rockets shooting in all directions. You know, um, and uh, in Road Runner style, at least one of them hits somebody. Um, uh, you know, and starts ch and they start chasing people around. Okay, so oh I will. What, what I will rule that is they basically all of them will cringe away, basically cover their hand, throw their hands up, and scream in terror. And basically, one of them gets basically one, definitely one of the mooks uh, gets the, the last mook standing. Obviously, everyone basically everyone else is fine, but the one mook who's left, he's the guy who get basically who's unlucky enough. Everyone's dodging and throwing themselves out of the way. And he's just screaming and running and trying to, and you guys see him running out, basically, basically out the door into the night. One of the fireworks still following him until it, it catches him and then throws him into the air where he explodes in a 
beautiful northern light style explosion up in the sky. And that's where the northern lights come from. Um, so we will basically rule the fact that everyone will get and one more risky, uh, one more action at the end. So Clarence and, and Hunter, you'll get yours and then everyone will get one last action. Uh, oh yeah, the 12 minute video of the fireworks show where all the fireworks went off. Yeah, New Year's celebration. Yeah, that. This just wasn't a, somebody said this is what happens when you use a uh, for each inside an async. Uh huh. Uh huh. Everything just happens at once. Um, lots of explosions, lots of cursing. Um, it will also explode into the New Year's. Uh, and that's where the Northern Lights come from. Uh, it explodes to the New Year's pole and clear that one. So that magic will basically be gone. And that one is basically, you guys will hear another voice thanking you. Basically, you hear the, I'm the spirit of the new year. It's like a little baby voice. Um, I have given, basically, I grant you the power of renewal. Uh, everyone will get one free reroll. This is actually just a straight up reroll instead of fortune. Um. Okay. Um, Sounds pretty fortunate to me. Uh, that brings us to Clarence. So this, ex but of course, all of you basically knowing what was going to happen have pulled on your shades uh, because, you know, you're not blinded at all and you knew this, this would happen. So you're all wearing your cool sunglasses now. All right. Well, I'm going to take another shot at uh, Soldier Boy. Okay. It sounds like it's time for that free reroll. <laughs> you can either reroll or use fortune. Either one. Yeah, fortune will probably be just as well because reroll could get me two ones. And that was what? Slyshar 1d6? Yep. Yeah. If you press up twice, it'll probably show up. Or I could roll a one. <laughs> you can roll one on the fortune. That's unfortunate. Okay, so it's going to It's hard to hit the, the Roman because he's dodging and cowering from <laughs> all the explosions and things like that. And he's just making himself too much of a hard target to get to. All right. Um, so, Hunter? Um, how many bullets did I say I shot at Hitler? Uh, multiple. It's going to, you are firing at Hitler. It's just going yeah. for purposes of this. It's considered one. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna shoot at him again. Hold on. I gotta find my. Pay. There it is. Okay. Uh. Is he behind something? Uh. Yes. He is cowering behind a throne. A throne. Uh, okay. It was a nice looking Santa Claus Howell Day. Throne, throne before all the gunfire hit it? Gunfires and arrows and everything else, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hunter will, um, do a diving roll so that she has a good angle on Santa Hitler and, uh, fire at him with her signature weapon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoops. That no, that was right. It was not a good roll, but it was correct. Let me re-roll that, please. <laughs> go for it. There we go. There you go. Basically, you feel basically you basically the gun like basically you've gotten to the bottom and the gun was slippery and starts to drop out of your hands. Um basically do this what? But you feel the power of the new year coming, coming through you, and you manage to turn it into, um, it's basically into a trick shot instead, where basically you you basically you drop the gun intentionally, 
uh, so that you can fire from an upward angle. Um, yeah. <laughs> and catch, catch Santa by surprise um, as your bullet slams into him from underneath. Um, basically plowing through his legs, severing an important, several important, important arteries, blowing him off of the platform and sending him screaming to the ground where he will basically collapse in a pile of basically in a pile of broken bones. Who's and, naughty uh, hot now, homie? Um, and given that the, given the time, we will go ahead and basically with that, uh, the evil magic that he was the, he was animating and controlling will, of course, all explode outwards, clarifying the poles, banishing the uh, the evil Roman soldier, um, and sending the rest of his men screaming off into the night, um, where they will be picked up by the now freed, good, uh, elven forces and things like that. Who are being who are being kept sorcery held captive by the evil Hitler Claus who had taken over the North Pole and was corrupting children's Christmases. Um you will be met by the basically by cheering throngs of elves, the basically appropriate Christmas cardy like small tiny elves screaming, Yay, yay, our hero! And of course, a jolly basically a large, jolly man in a large burgeoning suit will be like, oh, ho, 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 I knew you could do it once my message reached you. All I had to do was to get you here. I knew that he had done wrong by by harming all of you, denying you your gifts. For example, Clarence, Hitler Claus kept this, me from delivering this to you. Your gift is here. And he hands you basically a large wrapped box. Goody, oh, 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 goody. <laughs> Ripping open the paper. Not only is it one of the, basically the pound, exact pound puppy you wanted, it even comes with the optional carrier accessory. Um, oh! Uh, that, I, that I can speak from personal appearance. I used to have a Velcro's open on the top, and basically you can stick it in and then Velcro it back, and then you can see your little puppy inside for the little graded sides. Um, and it's just as, just as adorable as you thought it would be. Um, but, uh, basically Archie, he will, uh, kind of look at you and be like, you basically, well, we have a lot of cleanup to do. Um, uh, basically your gift waits for you in the center. If you really wish to lick the pole, you may. I assure you I it's do, peppermint. I do, I do. It's peppermint flavored. And I take a big fat lick from the pole. <laughs> And I ask it? him if, may, may may I have, I don't wish to damage your candy cane pole. You wouldn't happen to have, like, a version I could take home with me by any chance? Why, yes, we do sell them in the souvenir shop. And he hands you a souvenir coffee replica made with real peppermint. Uh, Squeak! The complete will face that you can take. <laughs> you do. Um... Basically, to both Chris and Hunter, he will basically kind of sol basically salute. You have done excellent work. Uh, Chris, your bounty awaits for you over there. Um, well, the Grinch, basically, the Grinch can be killed. He always seems to come back, but, but I've used enough of the sorcerer's magic to keep him in stasis that you should be able to take him back and collect the bounty on him. <laughs> Thank you. And Hunter, obviously, you have gotten to the bottom of this organization. Basically, bottom of the chair, basically the bottom of this organization. Basically, to the mole in my organization, and have rooted out the evil that was basically evil hit the evil clone of Hitler and their plan to take over Christmas. Yeah, whichever elf tipped you off to tipped Hitler off to you needs a needs a reeducation. I believe he's been reeducated already. All right. And he kind of points to the he points to the pile. The fire is good. Like they're having a merry Christmas bonfire, just kind of like, you know tossing troll bodies onto onto the fire. Um, it's a little disturbing. The little elves singing and dancing around the bonfire of bodies, but you know, eh. <laughs> who are you to judge their judge their holiday traditions? I uh, wonder how that action movie turned out from Christmas. 
All right. So as I believe some of you have to go. So if you need to, you may head out. Uh, I know one of one of you has already had basically already had to leave. Basically. But have a good uh, night, everyone. I will wrap things up and then let everyone go. So thank you all for joining through all three parts of this. Um, as, if you wish to catch the first two parts of the chaos and sanity of this, they are available on our YouTube channel. Um, which uh, I think that command will do it. Maybe. But. Yeah. Um. So we have a YouTube channel where all these are stored on. Figures the mod leaves and I instantly forget all the commands I need. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm just not as fast as she is. Okay. <laughs> um, I know yeah. nothing. <laughs> In any case, if you wish to catch this part or if you joined in later and you want to watch the rest of it, you can catch it on our YouTube channel. Uh, we also have... Uh, you can catch us back here. This is our regularly a regular place to catch us streaming. Um, we are basically we stream here on Tuesdays at starting at five p.m. Uh, we go through a cycle of things. I usually take a break between major game sessions to just we just kind of relax and goof off and play some of the fun and exciting uh, TTRPG based video games. I mean, this is Twitch. That is what one does. Uh, so I basically we play through some of the co-op and single player history of the TTRPG games, which have some wild and crazy games in them. Uh, we played through Baldur's Gate. We played through the Dark Alliance games. Uh, so keep an eye on our Twitter um, if you wish to see more about that. Uh, that. Which brings me to the next point. If you wish to find out more about keep track of what we are doing, um, you can always sign up for our newsletter. Um, or you can, if you're interested in Lorelink, which is the thing directly below me, which I was using to keep track of my notes, um, as that is the purpose of this channel, is to educate people essentially about Lorelink, which is our product that we use to, basically we're introducing for GMs in order to help them, thank you, team, uh, in order to basically help them organize their notes. So in the midst of all this chaos and things like that, it is much easier to keep track of what all the crystal, all the all the totem poles are, I had those all located in items, uh, which give all the details over what totem had what and what's what evil and good effects were associated with each one, what the who the villains were and what their stats were. Um, and I even had the session notes uh, built in there as well so that people could, basically I could keep track of what all the craziness that happened uh, in the midst of all of that. Um, I believe there's a... So, if you wish to know more about that, the command. I am terrible at my job of being a Twitch streamer. I am failing on get started. But in any case, the link that basically that Martine put up there uh, will take you to the website uh, where you can basically find out more information about Lorelink. You can sign up for the alpha. You can sign up for a newsletter. Uh, and find out more notifications on that. If you wish to file, find out more about what we're streaming here, um, you can always click the follow button, um, and that will let you know when we go live, uh, in case we go live later later or earlier than expected. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting things planned for the rest of the year. We're going to start off with a relatively... Basically, we're going to show off Pathfinder, uh, probably do a PFS quest, um, and then we're going to go into some more of the more interesting and other... Uh, independent and not the big three uh, RPGs out there. Uh, going from things like the uh, Blades in the Dark system, the Powered by the Apocalypse system, uh, Savage Worlds, GURPS. I don't know if we'll actually do GURPS, but that's one of the ones out there. Um, Floria, which is an interesting system involving drawing shapes on paper to do flower-based magic spells and things like that. Uh, and all of those we'll be doing on this stream. So please keep basically, if you're interested in what we did here, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, and keep up with us as we keep doing exciting things in 2023. Catch you all later.